Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jesse. If you're new here, there's a little bit of car noise because I'm doing this on a Tuesday and I had all of my work done today, so I'm doing some errands. First of all, all of these streets are like beautiful right now because the colors have started to change and it's supposed to be in the like high 70s today, which is crazy because it's been fairly cold. I have no idea if you guys can even see me because I'm trying to use the back camera because it just works better, especially on a vlog. So anyway, I am off to Trader Joe's. It's 919, so they just opened. I got ready. I actually filmed this morning, but I did it for like TikTok slash shorts. I feel like I get... <laughs> in these moods like once a month where I have all these ideas to do for vertical video and then I do it for like a week and then I stop again which is probably why I have no followers but I've just noticed a, an extreme dip in my YouTube views I don't know if you guys aren't seeing the videos like show up or if YouTube just isn't showing them to anybody else but I know that they really love shorts even though I'm not a big sh like I don't really watch shorts so I'm gonna try to do that and see if that helps and then I also have just been in a TikTok mood lately and I have been watching a lot of people's like resets and routines and all that stuff and I like love them and I love filming and editing that kind of stuff so I just like need to do it that's what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna drive the rest of the way to Trader Joe's and I don't want you guys to have all the car noise in the background so I will check in with you guys either at Trader Joe's or once we're home and I'll give you a little haul since I haven't been there in a while okay here is our Trader Joe's haul for the week we'll start over here I think the total was 165.95 but one of the things I bought was flowers. So those are over here, actually. I thought they were pretty, so I got those. So basically, I'm trying to eat better per my biome results, but at the same time, a lot of this stuff is just like really hard. And quite honestly, I'm going into the week of my period and I just need healthy ish food to eat. Otherwise, I'm going to try to like go bonkers and I just don't want to do that so I'm trying to set myself up for success by eating better but not like you know like perfect you know I forget the recipes that I'm planning to make there's not much but one of the recipes I'm making is like a um, like a creamy sausage pasta but I'm substituting a lot of stuff so we'll see <laughs> if it works but that's what the spinach is for I got broccoli to roast instead of using frozen Ben wanted some bell peppers, and then he specifically wanted bella mushrooms, so I got two types of mushrooms. I just got three bananas. We do not go through these fast enough, and I have a whole bunch frozen, but sometimes Ivy likes to eat these, so got some of those, and he needed, Ben needed some celery. Got some organic kiwi, because I need to start eating this, <laughs> and lemons for the shots that Ben makes. I got some eggs. Kimchi is another thing that was on my list of things that I should try, so I got that. What's funny though is like the ingredients are stuff I'm not supposed to eat, so it's very confusing. Ben wanted medjool dates, I got those, some garlic. It told me on the Viome thing that I did, like the testing, that I should be eating like normal butter, so I got some to try, I don't know. And then I got some more grapes and some oat milk. And then I was like impulse bought these two things. These aren't gluten free, so those are for Ben. And then these are gluten free, but they're also dairy free, I believe. Yeah, so we can have some of those. Some frozen sandwiches for Ben. Mirasaki sweet potatoes. We have regular sweet potatoes, but I just I just don't like them, and I prefer these. And I should be eating more sweet potatoes per my Viome results, so I got these ones because I'm more apt to actually eat them. Got some oranges for, again, the shots. Normally we would get these two things organic, but they didn't have them organic, and he doesn't use the outside of it, so it should be fine. 
This is for that sausage recipe. Again, I got chicken sausage, so I don't know if it'll be good, but I'm gonna try it. Two things of turkey. Just, I'll probably put one in the freezer. Two of these sunflower seed butter cups that Ben likes. And then this is the only gluten-free kind of rigatoni <laughs> pasta that they had. So I got this one. Some pears for Ben. Some avocados, even though all of our avocados went bad this week, which sucked. Two things of chocolate for Ben. And then I really like this chocolate. I'm not supposed to be eating chocolate, but again, going into my period. I don't care. And then I got maple syrup. Ben needed a tomato sauce for something. We were out of pink salt. And then I got these chips, which are like fine, but you guys know that I am obsessed with Trader Joe's. They have like this specific tortilla chip that I get every time I go there and they didn't have them, which sucks. <laughs> um, and then I got another one of these because these are seasonal and I only have the one bag left over there and the dogs really love them, as you can see by this doggo. That is everything, I'm gonna put it away. And then the plan for the rest of the day, at 11 I'm going to tour a gym that I'm interested in joining. It's a really nice gym, so it has to be like what I'm looking for to <laughs> decide if that's what we want to budget money for. And then I'll probably come home and hang out. And then this afternoon we're gonna try to go to like a little pumpkin patch thing, so. I'll take you guys along, but I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Okay, there's a chance there's chocolate in my teeth, but we're just gonna go with it. I have Ivy on a nap. Hopefully, she actually naps. She didn't nap very well earlier. Once she wakes up for the nap, we're gonna like get ready to go to the little pumpkin farm thing, but I want her to get a good nap in because she only took like a 40 minute nap earlier. I went to the gym tour. It's a really nice gym. I really like it. I just need to decide if it's worth the money for me. It's like a whole experience, which is why like I hated going to Planet Fitness because I'm just like not into that vibe. But like I used to work out at a really, at like two really nice gyms because they're more like clubs, right? So it's just like hard to go back to a normal gym after that so i just need to decide if it's worth the money eventually i can take ivy there in their child care which would be nice to be able to do even like once or twice a week where i could go like work there or work out while she's in child care i don't want to do that with her yet i probably wouldn't put her in there until she's at least one but still so i need to talk to ben about it because it's fairly expensive. I still need to kind of decide. I don't feel like a 100% right now, but I think it's because I just feel really guilty spending that much money. If you guys watch my budgeting videos, you know why. And it would have to come out of like, you know, some of my eating out budget or like messing around at Target budget. So I just need to decide if I'm ready to make this that type of commitment but anyway so i'll talk to you guys about that later once i've thought it through a little bit yeah ben's mom left about an hour ago now so she was with ivy all day when i went grocery shopping went there i went to tj maxx which i might have showed you like a very quick clip but honestly i kept like grabbing things and then putting them back because <laughs> i didn't want them but i found a blanket that I'm really excited about. It's the similar like fabric to those blankets that I loved from Costco last year when I was pregnant. If you guys remember, you know, cause I bought like four of them <laughs> for myself and for other people, but I really want to replace, we have like this white fuzzy blanket down here that I hate. So I really want to replace it. I also, we also have this blanket, which is fine. I don't know. I just want like a prettier blanket. Anyways, I'm washing it right now. I also just got some random like Christmas wrapping paper just so I would have it. They actually had a ton of Christmas stuff already. I haven't been to the TJ Maxx over here and there's quite a bit of stuff. I've only been to Home Goods, So that's cool. I'll probably keep plugging in there in the next couple of weeks. Again, I don't wanna get too much stuff because we just like don't have room. Like this house is just too small and we can't have anything within reach of ivy so that cuts down pretty much everything honestly i think the most important thing for me is having outside lights and then having a tree we need to buy a tree which is going to be expensive i need to buy ornaments for the tree so that'll probably be mostly what i'll buy i might buy like a little centerpiece or something for like the kitchen counter i know i have a couple other like little trinkety things 
for Christmas and then I bought those towels that I'll use throughout the house. So that's honestly really probably all that I need. The tree and the ornaments will not be inexpensive. Gotta do that. So I'm having a couple of these dark chocolate almonds and then I was gonna, oh, I was gonna try out this Alani New Witches Brew. I've heard that it's like, amazing but i have just like i was really into these i think i even put them in a favorites video like two months ago and now i just like feel like i can't drink much of it i don't know why but i wanted to get this flavor in particular because it's a halloween flavor so i think it'll be done pretty soon wow that is sweet it definitely tastes like those caramel apple suckers, like the green apple with the with the caramel, which is good, but drinking it is a bit much. It's good. I just, I'm not going to be able to drink much of it, which is fine because I don't need that much caffeine. I'll probably just drink like, I don't know, a quarter or a third of this and then put it back in the fridge before we go. But whenever Ivy wakes up, I'm really hoping she sleeps until three. I would like to go to pumpkin patch before that but it's just like not gonna happen with her um schedule but yeah so i would like her to wake up around three and then feed her and then we'll go so we probably won't even go until like almost four but is what it is anyway i'm gonna take a little bit of time to myself watch some tv have you guys been liking my vlogs lately by the way i just feel like i'm not getting as many views so i just don't know if people aren't liking the vlogs or if it's just not showing up or if people just aren't watching videos right now because like school and stuff are busy. I don't know. Let me know. But I'll be back. Okay, well, Ivy and I are here. We're just waiting for my sister-in-law and her boyfriend. It's very busy, which uh, my anxiety is just... And the roads are really busy on the way here, too. Uh, it's extremely windy. I don't know if you can see, like... But I will survive. That's the end of my complaining. I think they're still not going to be here for another like three, five minutes. So we'll see. Abby, are you having fun? She's like, I am unsure. <laughs> I am unsure. Yes. yes. You want this? He's like the only kind of like thing she that like. <laughs> No. Is it? What is that? You went away. It's interesting. Come in to say hi. It's okay. Are you driving? <laughs> She's Ivy. too busy watching the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being silly? You like the pumpkin? Tired. Mm. Ivy, do you want some milk? <coughs> do you want some milk? <coughs> do you want some milk? <coughs> What's the milk? <coughs> <coughs> Okay, it's officially later. Ben is putting Ivy to sleep. It is 7.06. I'm exhausted, but we had such a good time at the little fall festival farm thing that we went to. It was like hard to be in the moment taking care of a 10 month old while also almost 10 month old while also filming. So I didn't film much, but I did a couple of things. Yeah, it was great. I think it truly was great. I'm just like really exhausted. It's been a long day 
for me. <laughs> Came home, Benjamin had made me some food, thankfully, because I was starving. And yeah, put Ivy to sleep. I wanted to show you guys, this is the blanket I got from um, TJ Maxx. It's so soft, I don't know if you can see. It's so soft, but I just got it out of the dryer so it's nice and clean. You okay, Cole? Still limping. I think for now, I'm gonna try to keep chugging some water because I'm very dehydrated. Just watch some YouTube, I think, for a while. Take a shower, just chill. But it was a really good day, a really fun day. It was nice to see my sister-in-law Elizabeth and her boyfriend Brandon. He doesn't live in Chicago right now, so he's not always here. So it was just nice to see both of them and wish Ben could have come with, but he's still just not able to do that kind of stuff yet with his health. We had a good time. Ivy had a good time. It's so interesting seeing her just like take things in. Like she's just, uh, this little sponge and she's just like constantly processing and she did so good she didn't cry once there was like one time that I could tell that she was like on the brink I think one of the animals was like a little scary to her but I just like got down by her and you know was talking to her and she was fine so she just was in a great mood just processing taking all the things and I will say there was one woman that's like it's always older <laughs> women and she was like oh she doesn't seem very happy and I was like we're standing in a hot room in a line there's like a hundred people in here it's taking forever and you're talking to her she has no idea who you are so because I think she was just looking at her like she wasn't like smiling or anything like that I'm like oh. first of all she's a baby and second of all she doesn't know who you are well, she's fine so it was a little bit like I really didn't care at all but I was just like why do people say stupid things like that <laughs> thank you so much for watching I hope you liked seeing a little day in my life this is probably the most stuff I've done in like one day <laughs> in a long time so that's good I still need to figure out the gym thing but honestly I'm just like so overstimulated from the day in a good way but I'm just exhausted so it's just not something I'm gonna think about right now it's not a necessary thing I need to start tomorrow anyway but so yeah I'm gonna cuddle up with my blanket until Ben comes down and chill out but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video